today we're gonna go to my friend Micah's film set and do some BTS. Woo! Let's go! So it happens when you're on a shoot and you're like on time but the people aren't here to let you in, you know? Well, at least everyone else is on time. True. <laughs> True. You told me like quarter to five. Though. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah this sucks. This is not good. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, we're trying to. Sorry, who is this? I'll let you in. Oh, you're going to let. Okay. Oh, oh let's... thank you so much. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, I'm Mike Knapp, a producer director, and uh, we're making a, a documentary. It's it's sort of a mix uh, of narrative and doc uh, together, and it's uh, it's called Kid with a Movie Camera, and it's about my experience growing up in evangelical Christianity, my family's experience, and how I use movies and cinema and, and filmmaking to sort of understand the world through that lens, uh, because the world of religion was kind of overwhelming to me. Movies was a way for me to control my life and like through a lens and through a camera, through movie making, I could control my world around me when it felt like I was out of control. And the, the film, what I'm trying to do with it is show like my parents' perspective. I'm not religious anymore, but my parents both are and, and that's been a big part of their life. And the film is trying to not be a black and white film. It's trying to show you each side of the equation and everyone's different opinion in that world. I am AJ, and I am friends with Mike and App, and I'm here with my son, Isaac, and my son is volunteering to cast in the documentary that we're filming here at the Unitarian Church. My son, he is eight years old, and he has expressed a huge interest in singing and acting from a pretty young age. When Isaac was uh, three or four years old, he started taking my iPhone and he would turn the camera on. And it was really incredible to see because he would actually like position the phone from these really unique angles and like viewpoints. And like he would get all of his dinosaurs and like he would take a table lamp and like turn it down so that it casted a shadow and he's very intentional when he does that when he's taking photos or like making a video and then aside from that he's just a very um like comedic personality but this is my first time seeing him in like a more professional setting. Yeah. For me, this is almost the perfect, like, ideal starting point for him because it's with somebody that I know and I trust. And it was really important for me as a mom to make sure that my son didn't feel any pressure and that at the end of the day, it was a choice that he's making. And it's been a really awesome experience. There's been a few times where he gets kind of like cold feet about it, but I'll just There's remind no him like, you no, know, I really think this is something that you do want to do. And and everybody gets shy sometimes, but that doesn't, it doesn't always mean that you don't want to do it. It's just kind of like facing your fears. And then once we kind of like talk about it and then he gets super so pumped again and then we get to go. So right? like yeah, it's just been a really great, so, really great so overall like experience. What's been great about this process has been uh, empowering Isaac, who's our lead star in this movie, playing a younger version of me, to pursue his creativity and his artistic expression, just like I was when I was a kid. If you're younger and you're a kid and you see this video and you know you don't feel like you have a family who supports what you're inspired to do, or maybe you're feeling really shy and you're not feeling brave yet, I just always encourage people no matter what age that your life has value and like your heart is like your compass that will always lead people to kind of like where they're meant to be. My parents really encouraged the artistic side of things and with even those in that world of sort of religion, I 
They were always very supportive of the creativity. They helped me get my first camera. They supported me the whole time through this process of wanting to be a filmmaker and encouraged that. Whether or not my son ends up being an actor or like a producer is, isn't really the point. It's like, this is meaningful to him right now. So it's meaningful to me. That's a wrap on Micah's production today. It was super cool to be out here. Uh, if you guys want to see more BTS on this channel, let me know and I'll get on more film sets. See ya.